Hi, Jackie here, sharing the layout for A Little Magpie using Simple Stories Say Cheese Galaxy Collection. I'm just using um, the collection pack, so I'm just going through the papers here to show you what they are. I'll be using several of these papers as um, border strips down the left hand side. I also use the form phrase stickers um i don't i don't think they use any brads but i have got the brads out and also the bits and pieces pack i did get that stamp set out as well from a um l studio but i don't use that so i'm just cutting down several strips of various pattern papers that i want to use and um i'll offset them all in a minute you'll show i'll show you in a minute how i put them all together some of them i end up do end up cutting them down because they're a bit too wide so that's my original they're not stuck down there that's the original way i want them to do want them to be um and then i decided i wanted to add some stencil detail to my background so i've just got this stencil out of um, my stash i'm not sure where it's from but i'm using uh, it's a very old one and i'm using um fossilite distress oxiding fossilide amber which was on my desk and i just picked it up and thought that'll work um so i've just added the, the stencil detail in three places on my white card stock and then i will put the um pattern papers together slightly overlapping them or before i do all that i do distress all the edges of my pattern paper just to give them some added texture obviously i don't show you every single sheet i do but i do all these um one of the pattern paper one of the strips of pattern paper i do cut in in half um vertically so that i can um, tuck it in top and bottom it looks like it's going the full length of the um paper strip so here's, I'm just going to put them all together, overlapping them slightly so you can see a bit of the pattern paper from each of the papers. I'll stick them all together and then one of the pattern papers add the word the force on, um, which I wanted to use and I, I didn't, I, I didn't um, in the first batch of cut, cutting out, I hadn't um, cut that paper. So anyway, I've, uh, I decided to... Um, just add another strip, add another thin strip of the um, the false paper. So here I'm just putting that green that green paper I'd cut in half um, to make it look like it's, it goes the full length of the um, behind the layers. And then I've got this paper again to the other false paper. So I do that and then I cut it off lengthways again so that I'm using um, a bit on either side. I don't need to use the full the full width of it is again i've just distressed the edges and then i cut it down in half lengthways and use uh, a piece either side of that um photo mat so it's making sure you can just see a slight a slight edge to it on either side and then i think i'm ready to stick stick that um these pattern papers down I'll stick these down let's get my ruler to make sure I'm going straight so they go down and then I've gone through my um, embellishment bits and pieces just to find out one of two one or two of the little bits that I want to use on this layout and where I want them to go so I put my photograph down I think I've, I've stuck my photograph down or I might be sticking it down in a minute um, in and over the um layers of pattern paper and then again using a strip of the red red pattern paper with this i've um just punched out three labels using an old um label punch that i have position my photograph and then i add um Instead of using circles, which I normally do as clusters, I've used the punched out labels as my cluster base. So I'm going to put one at the top left and I put one at the right hand side of the photograph. I don't have three. I don't have three. I did punch three labels, but I don't use three labels, but I do have three clusters. Well, you see as the, the layout comes along and um, what I mean by that. So I've just I just stick them. Um, a label to the right hand side 
of this pattern paper. And then, as I said previous, in previous videos, I've got a box of L Studio die cuts. Um, I'm slowly clearing my craft room out. And so I've just emptied all packets of die cuts into this little box. So I've just gone through it and chosen some labels um, just to see if there's any word word um phrases i can use that might go with this photograph and then i can you and try it slowly get used get them used up so for some reason i just went for the blues and reds i don't know really know why but they do work very well with this collection and this layout so and i've still got i'm still in the habit of cutting everything in half whereas as you can see the box i had i could have just used the full strip of the um the label and still had more to, and you know, still uh, have loads more to use in the end. But anyway, I've cut, I've cut them in off, and and they're able to tuck in to the sides and to the top of my um, photograph. So I put another label there. Just flicking through to see what um, other things I might want to use, and then I find these um, JD three D wood. Um, chevrons so I use those I put a set of three at the bottom of the photograph and a set of three um, coming down from the top of the photograph so as you can see just sticking them down with some Nouveau um, glue sticking those into place and I've got that smile um, Ailico Magpie canvas flare badge that I did, it's, it's not stuck down where it is on the on the screen it does get stuck down to the bottom left of my photograph shortly I'm just making sure all these are in position again these wood um chevrons just give the page some extra texture then i've gone through my form sticker sheet for this collection and I've pulled off the banner because I just felt that that top right hand corner was just, just a bit bare and I thought well if I bring that um, banner piece in it just brings the colours that I've used behind my photograph into that corner as well it draws your eyes up into that corner as well I've also added <coughs> sorry a few of the um, form stick um, form stars around the page as well now using my sticker sheet um i do find some stickers on here i'm just i'm just adding my um smile flare badge to the bottom left and then using some stickers from the sticker sheet i'm adding them around the page so from the on the form phrase sticker sheet there was one that says what a trooper and underneath that which i've added to the bottom of the journaling i've added in training and the other one says the force is so strong which is the top of the photograph so here are a few close-ups thank you for stopping by uh, please like and subscribe to our channel if you have any comments please leave them below and i will get back to you thank you